video, we're going to be doing brakes on a CLA 45 AMG. It's a 2015 CLA. As you can see. So we're doing the front and rears. Fronts are just regular single piston calipers. The, sorry, the rears are single piston calipers. Fronts are four piston Brembo style calipers. AMG. So here's the old one. You can tell they're pretty worn. So these are the CLA 45 AMG brakes or the brake pads. So uh, these go on the front, you can tell. They're the Brembo pads, the part numbers on them. They have a bit of uh, adhesive here, or glue, that sticks to the piston. When you put it in, you peel that off. And these go on the front. So you can see they come from Mercedes. They come with a new sensor, or with the wear sensor. That's for the front. There's the uh, rotor side in there. No oh, crap. <laughs> Anyways, that's the part number for the front. So, and there's the part number for the rears. So, that's the rears, this is the fronts. There it is, coated AMG brakes. So, take out the old brake pad sensor, the wear sensor. So, what, what mill is that? Where is that? That is a. That's the awkward fucking sockets. E10. Oh, E10, okay. So you need tent, take out the brake pad or the, the sensor. We're gonna just take that out completely right now. That's it. That's the old sensor. Squeeze the tabs and pull out. You can get these two pins out. One, two, you're gonna sort of put a little bit in there, hammer the pins out. All corrosion on that too with brake dust. Jeez. There you go. Wow. That's why this one was there. Yeah. That's Brembo style for you. So pins are out and then you can just slide the pads out or push the pistons back first with the old pads. Alright, so to get the pads out, you're gonna push the pistons back, you know, and let it loosen up a bit. And for those who don't have the tools at home, or we're doing at home, just use two pry tools and push on the uh, on the pads. You can see. You push like that, and boom. Uh, I push the piston back. You gotta do it at the same time, because otherwise you push one side, the other side comes in, and so forth. There you go. And now slide out the pads, and that's it. Pretty worn out pads. <laughs> The inner one's like, the inner one's pretty, uh, it's still a little bit of life left, but not the best. Anyways, yeah, we'll be taking those and replacing them with new ones. There are the new ones, look at that. See, the piston is all the way back on both sides. Four piston caliper. Okay, so comparing the old and new pad, you can see the difference. Jeez. 80,000 kilometers. Is it 80,000? Yeah, so they're not a view. I mean, actually, what? They were tracked? 60,000. 60,000? And he tracked the car, right? Yeah, he's tracked. Jeez, Man, that's still pretty good. <laughs> Damn, that's a new one. So, bolt is in the back. What's that? That's E25, maybe? E18. Or, oh, sorry. It's an E18. Okay, show me, show me. It. So, it's an E18. We're taking that to take off the caliper bolts. Mercedes put thread lock. Yeah. So you got to reapply thread lock, right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, they both have thread lock on them. 
All right, and then we're gonna hang the caliper, and now we're gonna take off the rotor. Brembo's are the easiest to work on. <laughs> Again, these are AMG brakes with track abuse. That's still quite a bit of life left on these. It's like they're not that groove or anything. Yeah, they don't look the greatest, but still, still usable. All right, so now you're gonna use a Torx 30. Boom, that comes out. And there's the old rotor. And as usual, just grind this or get a wire brush, clean up the uh, hub, and put some anti seize. So next time you do brakes, they're easier to get off. The hub's cleaned up, now we're gonna put some anti seize all over it and then put the new rotor on. Uh, so we're putting the anti seize on after cleaning the hub. A really thin coat of anti seize. Okay, well, here is cleaning up the caliper as well from brake dust and anything. Or any grease or any of that stuff. Slightly wire brush it, clean up any of the grease. And where the pads sit, and they're gonna be sliding, right? So. It's a Brembo AMG rotor. I'm assuming it's a Brembo brand, right? Yeah. Or it has to be, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the guy was Brembo pads from Mercedes then. Okay, rotor's in. Tighten this bolt up, nice and tight. And now we put, oh, that's one that's dirty. Ah, that's unfortunate. Ah. Uh, <laughs> all right, all right. Okay, now we're putting the caliper back on. Got two bolts. Yep. Now we're gonna hand tighten it. And now we get the new pads. In my hands. Oh, you got our hands? Okay, okay, let's see these. Now the tape on the back, we gotta peel it off. So it's like glue, right? It's like yeah. double-sided tape. Okay, okay. <laughs> so these are OEM style. Or they're OEM brakes, actually, yeah. Put anti seize on the top and bottom of the pads since it's sliding, you know inside the caliper. Really thin layer and that slides right in. There you go. And you'll see it when it hits the end, it'll just sit flush. Like, look at that, it's, it sits right flush. Same with this one too. Releasing the lower axes. There you go. And that slides right in as well. That's auto. <laughs> and now we got the backing plate, which is right here. So you have to reuse the old one and reuse the sliding pins. Okay, I'm gonna bring the pin through. Okay, hammer. I'm gonna hammer the pin lightly. Actually, it's not a bit lightly, but <laughs> it'll, it'll, find, it'll find the way through the hole. <laughs> There you go, and then you slide the bottom piece in. You can see, top one's in. Comes off from right here. That side's in. Oh, 
bottom right there yet. Push the bracket in a bit. There you go. The pad up there. And then you hammer this in too. There you go. Now it's going in. It's on all the way at eight foot. Oh yeah, you still gotta hit it. There you go. That's in and just confirm the top one too, one or two more times. There you go. Now the pins are in and that's it, the front caliper is done. That's it. Do those sense, yeah. Oh yeah, true, true. Totally forgot about that. <laughs> Which hole did it sit? This one, this one, right? Yeah. Then you put the new sensor in. It goes only one way and slides right into the pad. Goes just one way and then you slide the. There you go. So, new sensor's in, it slides right in, connect it to the uh, connector, and put the bolt back in, and that's it. That's fine. That's yours. Okay. 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 That was done. There it is. That's Brand it. new brick on a Onis. Onis CLA Mazda 45 <laughs> AMG. Yeah, CLA 45 AMG brake's done. Now we're going to do the other side. Okay. Did the other side too. The other side's done. You can see. Hit the two pins out. Take the plate off. Push the pistons back. Pad out. Caliper off. Two bolts in the back for the caliper. Caliper off. One bolt right here. Take that out. Rotor comes off, grind it, pick Pianese's, rotor back on, bolt, put the copper back on, sliding pins, or pads in, sliding pins in, and that's it. Front's done, and now we're gonna, tie, we're, now we're gonna do the rears. So rears need to be replaced as well, and we're gonna get to that. So there's a key, you put it in, you turn it into the on position. Not this one, but the one before it. Yeah, ignition one. Hold down the. No, you gotta, you gotta try to. So you gotta hold down the uh, OK button and the telephone button. You gotta try multiple times. You'll get you know heat trip message every time. But so you hold it down, let go, and then this menu comes up. Then you go to pad replacement. You press OK, and then we already did it. But uh, actually, you show it if you want. Press to press OK. Yeah. There you go. Moving into fitting position, and then you see the parking lights come on. There you go, fitting position reach. So the, the electronic e-brake's been pushed back. So that's the first step you gotta do for the rear brakes. So get out over the guy a scanner to a scan tool or something and deactivate the rear e-brake. If you don't, you get run into issues. So there's that 17 and what else? 13. Okay. So the, the rear nut is 17, uh, 13. And the front one is 17. You gotta hold the slider pin. Go. Same thing on the bottom one. You gotta hold the 17. Slide that right back. There you go. And you can't push this, right? You can't push the. You can. Oh, you can push it once the e-brake's been set. Yeah. Yeah. Once well, the e-brake's set, then you push the caliper back or the piston back. Okay. 
Okay, there it is. And what uh, socket is that? Yeah, the E18. The E18. E18? Oh, the same as the front one. Okay, so we gotta get that like that. So we're losing the two bracket bolts. One E18 up there and the other one's right here. There's two of them. Yeah, there's a bit of uh, corrosion and stuff on there. Or it's all dirty salt and stuff. Okay. There you go. Both bolts are out now. There you go. That bracket comes right off. There it is. That's your AMG rear caliper. <laughs> um, we're gonna take out the rotor now. Torx 30, unscrew that, and it comes right out. Oh, we got to hammer this one? Damn, we're going to see some action today. Oh. There you go. There you go. One hammer. So we still used to mallet. Yeah, I yeah. yeah, we kind of saved that rotor. You know what? Go big or go home. Exactly. You know what they say? <laughs> fast cars and fast ones. Exactly. All right, now we're going to grind the hub. All right, the hub's all grinded. Now putting the anti seize thin coat around the hub. All right, now hurl the new rotor on. You gotta hurl it. Exactly. So that's the new rear rotor. Yeah. So they gave us new shims. There's the pad, and there's the two new bolts. Anyways, that's the new rotor, a Brembo style rotor. Jeez, look at that. Look at that. The difference on that to this. 2015, 2020. 15, 2015, 2020. <laughs> and now we're gonna put the uh, uh, bracket back on. Actually, we're gonna do the caliper service first. Yeah, you're gonna clean that up. Put new lube in the pins, sliding pins. Are they, are they good or do they need service? I checked the other one. The other, the other side was good. Awesome. Move this one in and out, see if it. Yeah, let's take it. See the old shims, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just run the wire brush on that, clean up the insides or on where the pad sits. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's still pretty good. Just make sure you take the air out. Clean up the bracket now. And then Mercedes gave us new shims right here, you can see. Oh jeez. Yeah, so they're coated from the bottom too, so they don't rust up or anything. Uh, that's pretty good. That's OEM parts for you guys. <laughs> so that's the rear uh, part number, uh, rear pads part number as well. If anyone needs some for a CLA 45 EMG. Okay. All right, I'm gonna put the new shims on. There you go, and then the other one. There you go. Oh. Now it's gonna be a pain in the ass to put in because that stupid bottom bolt. <laughs> you know it. Yeah. So we got some new shims on, we cleaned it up, and we're just putting the bolts back in. Alright, so now the brackets are all, brackets all tightened up. Now we're gonna put the pads in. Or the new pads. Oh, here you go. Oh, here you, you push the caliper back. Yeah, yeah. You needed the tools when you did it. Yeah. And let's put anti on the pads. Alright, we're putting the pads in now. Slide them in. Those are the wrong pads, I don't even know what to say. For a second, I'm like, wait a minute. It's like, shit. Oh, these are TRW pads. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, jeez. 
it's okay. <laughs> you made a light go down. There you go. Um, that's done for the rear, so it's pretty simple. Now, when you turn the car on, and when you turn the car on, engage the parking brake. You gotta do. You gotta do the scan tool, right? No. Oh, you have the scan tool? No, this one has okay. it on the. Oh, it has it on the dash. Oh, okay, 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 okay. So that means to disengage, you need a scan tool, but you could do the brakes just at home as well. We'll show it on the computer. On that, the rear brakes are done. Now we're gonna put the uh, tire back on, go for a drive, see how they are, and that's it. And then we have this side done too. You can see it's all back together. That looks real nice. Jeez, look at that too. <laughs> That looks a little scrumptious. All right, so the brakes are done, front and rear. Then we're gonna lower the car down, uh, torque the tires up, go for a test drive. Actually, no, before that, we are uh, engaged the rear parking brake. Here you can see as the electronic parking brake, which has to be re-engaged. If you don't re-engage it, you will run into issues. So we're gonna re-engage it to the computer that's inside the car, and then go for a test drive, and we're good to go. This. AMG 2 liter engine. I ordered the air filters, but that's not going to be in. Yeah, that's fine. So, There's the turbo. It's a wee little turbo. <laughs> Alright, so tired of hand torqued. And now we're going to re engage the parking brake from here. So there's a key. You put it in, you turn it into the on position. Not this one. But the one before it. Yeah, ignition one. Hold down the. No, you gotta, you gotta try to. So you gotta hold down the uh, OK button and the telephone button. You gotta try multiple times. You'll get you know heat trip message every time. But there you hold it down, let go, and then this menu comes up. Then you go to pad replacement. You press OK, and then we already did it. But uh, actually, you show it if you want. Press two and press OK. Yeah. There you go, moving into fitting position, and then you see the parking lights come on. There you go, fitting position reached. And then since we're gonna put the new pads in, we're gonna redo this. I just think doing that. Okay. There you go. Alright, now we're gonna press OK again. Actually in fitting position. There you go, and then press OK again. And that's it, the pad the rear uh E brakes, E brake uh, is re is re centered, or what is it? The rear E brake's been set again, so then you're good to go. Now we're just gonna pump the brake pedal a couple of times. There you go, you pumped it? Yeah. Okay, let's start this up. It's nice and tight. Yeah. <laughs> All right, start up. Okay, so we changed the front and rear pads and rotors on the CLA 45 AMG. It's pretty easy if you know what you're doing. Probably about an hour and a half. If you know, if you want to take your time, maybe like two hours max. Unless you have like seized calipers and stuff, then it'll take longer. <laughs> but yeah, that's it. CLA 45 AMG. That was disgusting. All right, so that's how we did the, uh, the brakes on this. CLA, so the one for a drive. Everything's good. Anyways, yeah, it's a pretty simple process. I went the brakes are done. So that was it on the CLA 45 EMG. Front and back pads and rotors. Remember when you're doing the uh, rears, just uh, uh, disengage the parking brake. Otherwise, it's, you're going to run into problems. Other than that, it was pretty easy. And yeah, thanks for watching, guys. So if you guys you know, like the video, please comment, like, subscribe, and watch our future videos.